I'm south of the creek now, I'm about two thirds of this done. I'm going to talk inside the cab because it's a little bit different. It's too windy outside me now. I think the audio will be terrible. There's some kind of weed. It's in the Brassica family. I'll go out and show up. Got a little tiny white flower on the end. It's already... Um, Quite a bit of it south of the creek, and what's happening, I don't know where it came from, I haven't seen it before, but the tine weeder is starting to pick it up and pull it out, as opposed to pulling out a lot of uh, lamb's quarter and pigweed, and then it acts as a scour. I'll go out and show you that it just clumps up. So I've only got the tine set to like 50% of aggressiveness, where it's north of the creek. I had a hundred percent, you know, full engagement, and I was doing a really good job of getting the little weeds out. But here, I seem to be doing neither. Uh, I might have to swap this, I don't know. And this field is long enough, I can drag the residue over here, there's a grass waterway. I can drop the residue, accumulated residue, in the waterway. But there was a couple times I had to stop out in the middle of the field because it was just so full. My um, gangs of tines were full and I'll just have to drag that to the edge of the field using the tines at some point or leave it there and combine around it. I'll go out and I'll show you this now. Maybe it's not too windy out here. But this is what happens. pad, you know, and then the, then the last year's bean residue and everything gets in there. Come back in here. I don't know if these, I hope they're going to recover. This wheat is pretty beat up. This year. You can kind of see it's kind of a white fuzz sticking up. So, always an adventure. <laughs> 